EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martichir with your outlook for May 1st, 2023. Start of the new month, and it's not going to feel like May, starting off the first couple of days anyway, uh, for much of this work week. And then uh, we are going to see a little bit of a turnaround after that, and I'll get to that here in today's video. The Monday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Kinsley's Family Market in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania. Kinsley's is the world's largest ShopRite, and the ShopRite logo means they're all about food, they're all about savings, and they're all about you. Spring has sprung, and the trucks are rolling in with your favorites to spruce up your patio. They have grills, gazebos, patio sets, and umbrellas, as well as Adirondack chairs in all colors of the rainbow. They also have hanging baskets, plants, and mulch to revitalize your garden. So stop by the world's largest ShopRite for all of your spring beautification supplies. They are Kinsley's ShopRite. Located at 107 Kinsley's Drive in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania. Proud sponsors of the Monday video forecast. One programming note, I had, I had uh, I think, a total of six inquiries for the open spot of the daily forecast video. Three I haven't heard back from. Uh, two have are, are expressing interest at a different time. Uh, and I don't have anything uh, firm on Tuesday's open spot for the daily forecast video sponsorship. So if you do want, if you have a business, you do want to sponsor these videos, reach out to me with the information for the information. I'll send that to you. It's info at epawaweather.com. I will send you all the information, pricing, all that kind of thing, and how you can sponsor the daily forecast videos from EPAWA. It would be every Tuesday. Uh, so today. And actually, all this week, we're going to be under the influence of an upper-level low during the work week, okay? This is a during the work week thing. We have a big, broad upper-level low, upper-level trough that's sitting over the region, and it's just uh, entering our region today. It's going to uh, have more of an influence on Tuesday and Wednesday across our region. Uh, but today, we have, for the interior anyway, you have uh, some showers that are going to start working their way in uh, during the uh, late uh, afternoon. But this is not or during the course of the afternoon, I should say, not late afternoon necessarily. This is not an overwhelming amount of rain like we had over the weekend. Where some areas got hit hard over the weekend with some rain, especially, um, well, I, I can't say especially, because the eastern areas last night, actually the eastern areas of our coverage region really got hit hard. Uh, but it's not going to be anything like that. This is more, this is upper level low driven. Uh, so this is going to be, uh, some lighter showers, then they're going to be intermittent. It's not going to be a constant thing on any of these days that we're talking about, okay? So uh, this is uh, what the upper level low looks like, okay? And it's a very broad, deep upper level low, and this is looking at later Monday. The upper level low center is right here, uh, and this is going to very slowly meander around in this way like this, kind of go like that, and it's going to take uh, from where it is today, which is where the L is, to the tip of my arrow here is going to take three days. Okay, that's going to be that's very upper level lows are like that. They don't move. They're not moving with any sense of purpose. And the reason it's doing that is if I switch this to a United States view, this what's going to set up this week is what's known as an omega block. An omega blocking pattern is when you have ridging in the middle here, and then you have trough on the western United States, and you got a trough over here in the eastern United States. This is an omega like the Greek letter omega, mega blocking pattern, okay? So that's what we're dealing with this week, okay? And this is uh, looking at Wednesday evening. You see it's over, uh, it is over top of our area. I move this back to a, an East Coast shot here. Uh, this is where it is late in the day here on Wednesday, all right? So it moves from up here today and just kind of sits there and spins, right? And we go on Tuesday, here's Wednesday, and then we get to Thursday, again, like where I had the tip of my arrow out here just offshore, but you're still getting the influences of that upper level low and then you have one little gasp of coming in here from the gulf of maine it's going to come in like this on friday and do one of these numbers here like this one more gasp where it tries to take a parting shot uh and i'll do that here i move this forward so you can see that look where it goes see that little notch right there that is for friday okay so during the work week we'll help be under the influence of this upper level low when we get to saturday however look what happens Saturday, my sump pump's going off. I can hear it, which is all this ring we're getting. Uh, so here is uh, Saturday and Sunday, and the heights are a lot higher here, and you're kicking the upper level low out. So you'll have a different outcome this weekend. How, how, how long has it been since I was able to sit here and give a weekend forecast that is a good forecast? And that's what I'm doing here in today's video. And I know some of you are going to be skeptics and say, well, you, you know, 
a little early for that or whatever you want to say. I'm telling you, it's going to be better this weekend. Uh, for those of you that think the upper level lows like to have a tendency to linger, well, they will linger. Okay, it is going to linger, but we're allowing Thursday and Friday for that lingering, not beyond that. That is the lingering. So the, it's going to affect our region here on Tuesday with some of these showers. There's Tuesday, right? And the same thing here on Wednesday when it's pretty much over top of us was almost the same idea with these scattered showers on Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday are most notable days for this upper level low influence. Today, just for the interior, more inclusive of the entire area, Tuesday and Wednesday. When we get to Thursday, isolated, okay? So a lot different of a look as this is pulling away. But remember I had that little loop coming in here for Friday? Well, here is that upper level low influence here on Friday. See it right there? And you get late in the day here on Friday, and you get a few showers in maybe eastern areas as that thing swings by. But here's the weekend. Nothing Saturday. Nothing sa on Sunday. We are partly to mostly sunny this weekend with moderating temperatures. So under the influence of the upper level low, when you have an upper level low that looks like this, sitting over the area, that's drawing a lot of cooler air relative to average. So it's going to be below average, uh, firmly below average with temperatures in the low to mid 50s on Tuesdays and what Tuesday and Wednesday it's gonna be pretty chilly um, today's no uh, walk in the park either we're gonna talk about upper 50s and near 60 and I'll have the same thing here on Thursday uh, so Tuesday and Wednesday are probably the core of it when it's sitting closest to the region right like shown here's Tuesday here's Wednesday so it's right over top of the area so you're gonna have a pretty chilly temperature relative to average both of those days the coolest of the two days and then we still we get to um, upper 50s and near 60 maybe low 60s by Friday and when we get to the weekend, we're in mid to upper 60s on Saturday, and we are uh, hitting 70 or coming close to it, or maybe even getting to lower 70s some places on Sunday. So it's going to be quite the turnaround, and it's keep going next week. We is not just a transient thing, but where when we wanted it to be dry, which is the weekend when everybody's home and you have things to do, it's looking good. It just have to to get through this work week, where the upper level low influence is going to be these showers at times. So let me give you an idea of what this is. This is the NAM showing for today. See these pop-up showers here? It's nothing like this wall of rain we had yesterday and again on Friday afternoon, evening. This isn't like that. They're pop-up showers, okay, very arbitrarily placed, rotating around the upper level low. This is today, okay? And this starts off uh, during the early afternoon in some areas further north late in the afternoon further down south but anywhere can get into this pop-up shower it's just isolated but it's there the chances are there's possible you could miss out these and out on these entirely uh but once we get to tuesday i think it's a little bit better chance look at this here's tuesday you got a lot more shower activity uh, on tuesday especially in the morning and early afternoon but then you get that back in this pop-up stuff and you're probably gonna be doing the same thing here on wednesday as you did on tuesday because the the low pressure center is going to be pretty close this is going to run out of range so i don't have it but it gives the idea of what tuesday looks like a little bit more in the way of showers but still this is light showers this is nothing heavy after what we just had uh and i'm just realizing this my my times are off here uh but this is just light showers and that's it okay so uh, it, 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 we, we, I can't say we need the rain anymore because we probably don't, but we just have to, uh, you know, just persevere this week and just ride it out because, uh, if they're in a work week, it doesn't look too good. Um, and then at the end of the week, the chances get a little bit better where every day keeps going less and less of a chance once you get beyond Wednesday. So Thursday is just isolated, Friday isolated, and then Saturday, Sunday look dry at this point, And I don't expect any changes since most of the ensemble, the vast majority uh, of the ensemble guidance is an agreement the weekend's going to be good and every single one of the global models are saying they're, it's going to be good too so um, again lingering effects into thursday and friday i think that is the lingering days okay not that it's going to keep lingering beyond that um, and that's it but uh, that's what we're dealing with and uh, we'll continue to update this throughout the week so you know what we're dealing with on a daily basis i'm epa wa meteorologist bobby marcher that is your outlook for may 1st 2023 have a great monday